I am making some homemade jerk sauce for my chicken. I have some chicken thighs that I am going to put in the oven and I'm going to put this on there. Look at my sauce. Uh, smells so yummy. Mm. Yeah. Look at my sauce. Smells so yummy, yummy, yummy. Going to add that to my chicken that I already clean and cut some fat off. So here's the chicken. So. We have chicken thighs and they're actually boneless. So there's no bone in it. Um, usually I, I, I make this with the thighs with the bone. However, this one have no bone, so, but it's okay. So I clean it in vinegar and some lime. Um, I cut some of the fat off, but I left some of the fat on. I know it looks like a lot, but it's okay. I left some of that fat on. I like to have that additional juice because um, I actually use that juice along with some of the sauce I make to make some gravy um, if I am making, depending on what I'm making. I usually leave the sauce um, to make gravy, rice or food or whatever it is. So I always leave some extra fat on there. So they're in the baking container. So I am going to pour my sauce on look at that Ooh. and I'm going to massage it in So my sauce is on, I'm going to massage it in. I did turn the oven on, so it is preheating. Um, so as soon as it's done preheating and I massage this in, I am going to put it in the oven. And then I'm going to put my little guy down for a nap. So I'm going to do this the bougie way. I don't... Um, I don't have a glove at the moment, so I'm going to use my spoon to massage it in. It's not that bad. So I'm going to make sure all of the meat is coated. Look at that, it's all so good. Get the underbelly there to make sure that we got that. Yep, got it. Turn it back over. Turn this one. Oven is hot. Just beeped, so I'm gonna put this in. And I'm going to put it on 30 minutes and then I'm going to come and check it. I put it on 350. So I'm going to come at 30 minutes to double check it to make sure. Because like I said, there's no bone in it. So this is the thigh. It's not going to take that long. So let's put it in. So while the meat is in the oven, I am going to just scrape this remaining sauce out of my little mini bullet and I am going to put a small container and leave it to make my additional sauce to top. This is what it looks like after 20 minutes just had to double check I'm gonna see all the juice that I'm gonna be able to use to make my additional sauce 
So looking good. Let me just check them and then put them back in for another uh, 15 minutes. Turn them over just to make sure that they're all cookie and then I'm gonna put it back. I'm going to throw off my oil, excess oil and sauce in a plate that will be added to the other sauce to be cooked and make into sauce for dinner. Look how gorgeous that is. I just pour off of the excess oil and juices. from the bacon dish. It smells so good. Look at that. Juicy. That's it. So, I'm going to add some barbecue sauce to the chicken. So this is barbecue sauce with some honey. So I'm going to put that on the top. Put it in for 10 more minutes so it can get a little crispy. It's just some store bought barbecue sauce and regular local honey. There you go. Gorgeous. Look how yum. So, gonna put this back in and for 10 more minutes so that it would crisp on top. Ready to eat. You can have this by itself with bread, rice and beans, white rice, anything you wish food. We are going to have this with some corn, some rice and peas, and my homemade lime and mandarin juice there you go bon appetit drop me a comment down below let me know how you make your jerk chicken don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet feel free to share the videos Thanks for watching.